<laughs> Just think about it. Isn't it nice to live in a park-like city? What's more, the city lies at the foot of the snow-capped mountains and has a profound economic basis. So, how much is it? Yes, the city called Chengdu, which is known as Western China National Central City, with GDP higher than Portugal, New Zealand, Ukraine, Greece. It comes remarkably close to Singapore. What makes this inland city such a huge economy? Chengdu is a comprehensive hub for Southwest China and the third city in China with dual international hub airports. The annual passenger throughput of Chengdu's two international airports is expected to exceed 130 million passengers. Travelers will be able to get to any destination through Chengdu. Annyeong. And not Bonjour. just Chinese travelers, Hola. many countries have Hello. established consulates in Southwest China. Currently, there are 21 official consular offices in Chengdu, ranking the third in mainland China. The distribution of top cities has an obvious agglomeration effect. Chengdu and Chongqing are just such a pair of brother cities in China's western region. A mountain city where heavy industry and manufacturing have developed, and a flat city where tertiary industries have gathered, each complementing the other with their own strengths. On the world map of the future, it will be a metropolitan group that cannot be ignored. Chengdu, which carries the titles of hometown of the giant panda and foodie capital of the world, is not merely a city of tourism. In fact, its pillar industries include IT, car manufacturing, and the digital economy. More than 300 of the Fortune 500 companies have made a home in Chengdu. The population of the city has risen to 20 million. But the real reason they choose to stay in Chengdu is the work-life balance sweet spot found here. A place where you can sit in a tea house and do a million dollar business deal. And where you can see a snow-capped mountain from your window in the CBD. Because in the end, it's all about you.